let's go. I missed like three days on YouTube without Isaac Runs just because I didn't play it as much last week. I apologise, but as you can see, we've got a bad loss streak. Ah, uh, wrong side as well. There we go. Last couple of sessions, played badly, got some bad characters and some bad luck. So it just, it, it wasn't a great couple of sessions. And that is going to continue. I see. Well, yeah, there's plenty of stuff to pick from. Let's get started. We've got a couple of minutes of joy before the the tainted Esau arrives. And then everything gets all screwy. We've never had a run go... Well, we've had a run go past it lives twice, I believe, but never anything else beyond that. But don't worry, because Polythemus is going to be in this first item room and sort everything. Nope. There's a demon baby. Nothing wrong with a demon baby unless it happens in real life, in which case you should en enroll a priest and seek their help. Oh, good job he had iframes because he would have got blown up. Broken syringe, mystery medicine. I've forgotten what that does. Ooh, that's good. Hang on, I can just trap you for a second. Give me peace while I'm opening this. Okay, DPS up on floor one, not from the item room, is pretty good. Don't shoot the evil twin. They're not twins, they're brothers. And he killed them or something. Effective use of Tainted Jacob Esau, I mean. Just don't get hit before the boss. Oh, no. The boss sucks. Get him, demon baby. I have to focus on dodging. I can't focus on shooting. No, don't shoot him. Be grief. That did not do... Did that do any damage to the horn? Why didn't that do more damage? Yeah, it, it did okay. Yeah, Demon Baby is shooting him. That's not good. If he dies once the boss is dead, it's fairly irrelevant. Another DPS up. Also not a good character for like having stuff to talk about. Because for once I do, because on Sunday's stream I deliberately didn't talk about any of the trailers that came out of the DC fandom this year. So they could talk about them during Isaac and have stuff to talk about. But we're playing as a character where focus is a little bit of an issue, because it's required. One hit and you're the lost, another hit and you're dead. Well, from the mechanic, obviously, not just any enemy, but still. But I was saving that. I knew that was that was good Isaac conversation because there's nothing else been happening. It rained all my day off. I painted. I nipped to the shops this morning. Uh, the tally of mask to face was four for four, I think. Three employees and one member of the public pushing a pram. The baby in the pram did not have a mask, so the baby was taking its safety into its own hands. And thank you, Flick Van, for 44 months. Oh, see, I have to circle the room so I can read. In a roll 45 in total with a tier 2 sub. Oh yeah, I turned the go back on because it's, I guess, a bunch of gifted subs ran out. So we have dropped below the, the number I like staying at where I, I don't feel stressed out about losing income. So the goal is back on. This time remind me to switch it off when slash if it gets made. We're going to go find Aimer. Mm, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. Speed up is helping. Wait, why did we have a speed up? Oh, because the syringe isn't just giving us euthanasia. It's giving us occasional pills in general. Well, okay, well, I'll try and have a conversation about the fandom trailers and the order in which I watch them. Don't kill him. Okay, there we go. I think the first one I saw was The Flash, which is news to me because I didn't know Ezra Miller still wanted to be The Flash. Especially given that he's in the Marvel Universe. Which probably means his character isn't going to last that long in Eternal, but... Eternals, rather. They're obviously doing Flashpoint, and that's why Michael Keaton is Batman in it, because he 
I was off by one floor, but I was right. Because he is the perfect Thomas Wayne Batman. If he played actual Batman, he's an old man now, and he'd be perfect Thomas Wayne. No, don't die, not now that we've got a good item. Drop a heart once in a while. I think there was one. I almost walked into the red poop and immediately died. I need to get that penny so I can buy a heart. There we go. So I, I guess, are they doing Flashpoint so that they can restart a cinematic universe without Ben Affleck and, oh, it's five cents what I'm talking about. I thought it was that price. Oh, that helps. Unfortunately, I didn't get the cash, but we did get a spirit heart, which I suppose is better. We'll just go. They're doing Flashpoint to introduce a multiverse. Uh, that's, that's much worse. I don't think the multiverse concept is going to work out for Marvel either, because I think normies are going to be like, I don't understand this garbage. But they already kind of were doing that, because like their cinematic universe failed, and then they just started doing movies instead, and it kind of worked. Wonder Woman 1984 aside, which is a laughably bad film. Worth watching how bad it is. Well, thank you, Rye Dog, for 54 months with Tier 1 sub, unless you're my mother, who absolutely hated it to the point of calling it names. Because it would be interesting if the reason they were doing Flashpoint was so that they could introduce a bunch of younger people playing the classic Justice League setup. Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman, and then have a bunch of movies done by proper people learning from their mistakes, and then have like a good cinematic universe just in time for I think Marvels to to jump the shark. That would be perfect. So if they're not doing that, that sucks. But I don't really like Ezra Miller's Flash that much. But I do like Michael Keaton, and if he's playing sort of evil Batman, then I'm fine with that. I would be interested in seeing that part of it. F. K. Oh, thank you, an Anonymous Ghost, for gifting out five tier one subs to the community. Yeah, I don't... I mean, it's, he's fine. He was better in the Snyder Cut. Oh, crap. Can I... Oh, shoot. He was better in the Snyder Cut. The original cut of the Justice League made him come across as just annoying. I know I have I don't have a leg to stand on for a start, and I know it's it's very petty and very uh, not okay. But I also just don't like his face shape. He has a weird chin, and it bothers me. If he was buffer, he would make a good Superman with a chin like that. I forgot I hadn't used Animal Solar. Well, we be the lost now. Oh, in that case, I might as well kill you then. Did you see that, Zack? Thank you, Sans character, for 15 months with Twitch Prime as well. I also didn't notice there was a hype train. So, anyway, the Flash. I'm more interested in the Flash than I am of ever watching Black Widow. Wait, didn't they already kind of do a multiverse thing? Because didn't the in the Flash TV show, didn't that Flash meet Ezra Miller Flash? Or am I imagining things? He did? I thought he did, because I think I keep on seeing the clip getting recommended to me on YouTube. Perks. It does nothing if you're ever lost. Because you die in one hit. Hmm. Hey, thank you, Ray Dog, for the bits. Mm. It is tradition to poop some bits in my general mm. direction. Mm. It is true. Ooh. Cannot deny. The mothers. Uh, we still need the item room. We might as well. I'm gonna try. I'm. I'm trying to play this like we're gonna live. But we might be quick restart. Well, I'm gonna random again. I don't particularly want to play as tainted Jacob. But after the flash, what trailer did I see next? I think I saw the. 
the Black Adam trailer, which I thought was Shazam 2, but he's actually just a solo movie about Black Adam. I think. I know in the more recent comics he's not just a bad guy anymore, he's kind of like nebulously neutral. I only know that because the new model he got in the DC Universe miniature game went from being evil teams only to being either or. Another follower, okay. Well, who's the villain if Black Adam is the, like, hero slash anti-hero? Like, who does he fight? Oh, Pierce Brosnan is Dr. Fate. Okay, that makes more sense. There was rumours going around that Pedro Pascal was playing Dr. Fate. Get frozen. So is Dr. Fate the bad guy? Oh, son of a... I wanted that run to last because we had Polythemus so well. Tainted Keeper is okay. I like Tainted Keeper, even though he dies in two hits. That's one more than we had. He can be a little slow, though. Well, in some ways he can be the villain, because he tries to force history to play out in certain ways, right? I think Pierce Brosnan might make a good a good bad guy, if you know what I mean. A, a good bad guy, he, he'll be good as a villain in his older days. I'm interested. And if you're hoping for me to get onto the video game ones, incidentally, I watched the video game ones last. Range down. I forgot. Never take poses. This guy. Like in comic book land, I'm sure Black Adam has been everything and in between. It's just what they decide to go with. But I saw the Black Adam one. Is there not a Shazam 2 then? Isn't that one of the few DC movies that did well? Oh, there is. Was there a trailer for that? Because if there is, I haven't seen it. Missed it. There was a behind the scenes teaser. That's that's not good enough. I care not for behind the scenes. Is there any information on that? Like what it's about or who's in it or like is Black Adam going to be in that? The Shazam and Black Adam are kind of like they go together. Stitches is good. Uh, let's see here. The tick. Poop Love, or whatever it's called, might be okay. BFF might be okay. I accidentally bought the tower. Um, sorry, donation machine. It left me one short, you son of a bitch. I'll be back. Helen Mirren plays Calypso? Interesting. I mean, I must admit, Black Adam is the only Shazam villain I know. Well, and the Seven Deadly Sins, obviously. I want that. Thank you to everyone who contributed to the hype train. So, Flash, Black Adam. Then I watched the Batman trailer, I think. Um, sure, let's try this. And I was really interested after the first trailer, and I am still very interested after this trailer. It seems like it's instead of focusing on uh, well, wow, wow, my parents are dead, it's more like here's a young Batman who's still very angry about it, and that's good. When I was watching the trailer, like very early into the trailer, there's a very dark night esque bit where Batman is talking to Riddler in the prison and like Riddler is saying oh I wanted to speak to you for so long and I couldn't understand oh, I couldn't understand for the life of me what the hell Robert Pattinson says to him I listened to it for like three times I was like I have no idea what he's saying I had to put subtitles on to know that he's shouting at him what did you do 
Because I, he just, I just couldn't understand it. The rest of it, oh right, I can turn this to my advantage. The rest of it was perfectly understandable, but that one line, I just did not have any idea what he was saying. It was like the original Dark Knight Rises trailer when Bane was even worse. Can I just shoot this for infinite help? I mean, do we need boss rush? We actually don't need boss rush as this guy. I forgot we should also pick a direction. Mega Satan's probably asking a bit much. Delirium. Yeah, we don't have a key, so I can't go out past, so I guess that's made my decision for me. Oh, they don't last long, that's what it is. Hello, Trivet. It feels a little bit year one, but it's not actually doing the year one story. Because that's already been done in animated form, done well. But a young, angry Batman that people are, are scared of, because they're not used to him and they, he's angry. And... It'll be interesting. It's. I don't know how I feel about him walking around in bulletproof armor. It makes sense. Because if he wasn't wearing... Shit. If he wasn't wearing bulletproof armor, he would have been killed a long time ago. And that kind of adds to the intimidation thing as well, if we can just walk towards people with guns. It's less sneaky than I like Batman being. But apparently a big focus of the movie is on him being a detective anyway, more so than fighting, so I'm fine with that. <clears throat> oh, I have no keys. Right. It's an ongoing issue. No keys. So it affects one in four tainted keepers. Yeah, oh, I was trying to hit the rest of those hoops. Yeah, getting shot like by machine guns and not having like not getting pushed over or stunned or whatever is silly, but it's a comic book movie. It's gonna be silly. As long as it's good. I want a good Batman movie. So then I don't feel weird being a fan of Batman. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, the Riddler that they're doing is, is interesting. It's not goofy. I, I, I think my my favourite iteration of Riddler is as he appears in the Arkham games because there's just enough twisted hiding underneath kind of like Goofy. That's a lock up, yeah. Like in the sound files for Arkham Asylum there's that one where he's talking to the doctor and he tells a joke about a dead baby. Then the, the doctor says, how could you laugh at such a thing? And he replies, easy doctor, it's not my baby. Like, that kind of subtle sinisterness is, is great. Oh, I'm sorry, Stitches, but this is bear. Oh, and it got a date, of course. It's out in what? Is it March? That's not too long. I was expecting or worrying that it'd be, like, late 2022. To get to me, you'll have to walk through my poop army. Oh. No, the money. No. <sighs> I wasn't talking about you, chat. No point going in there because we can't afford anything. We don't have a key for that library, which sucks. God, I guess we'll aim for Hush in order to get guaranteed delirium access. And if that isn't feasible because we're too weak, just aim for... The chest and hope that we get into Mega Satan or something, or get Delirium after Blue Baby. I don't know. Oh. No, I've become invested in this run as well. Don't do it. Okay, we're fine. So I think that was it for movie trailers I saw. Was there any others that I missed?
I don't think there was, but I'm trying to remember. Oh, well, Shazam 2 behind the scenes that apparently was a thing. Didn't see that. There was Aquaman 2 sneak peek. I guess the first one did okay, didn't it? That was Marvel Hit Monkey. What does that even mean? When, speaking of which, though, tangentially, when is DC going to give Detective Chimp his own movie? Yeah, you're saying words, but I have no idea what you're talking about. So you need to provide context so I know. Are you saying that Marvel is making a movie about a monkey that is also a hitman? Is that what you're saying? A TV show that's animated. I don't remember what this is. Oh, okay, this is good. Is it animated for adults or animated for children? Ooh, that's really good. Really, really good. Now then, apparently we got this for free. That That's fine. Uh, we want this. I don't want to take guillotine just because it makes it so annoying. I think this will work. And if we get a bit more cash, come back for the half price key. We look like a very dapper gentleman that's fallen in poop. Adults, violent as hell. Okay, now I'm more, I'm more interested then. If it's like super jail levels of cartoonish ultra violence, I'm all for it. Oh, did not see you there. Oh, they're not even putting it on Disney Plus. Steam sale is for the run, yeah. It's not for the room. And it should apply to everything, which is why it's so good as this guy. So, yes, very invested in this run now. In this run doing the distance, even though I can't aim for any of the alt floors. Oh, no. No! Oh, that was so close! The magnetizing changed the, uh, the trajectory of the tier. I think it would have hit me if not for it, but... The only reason I dodged the way I did is because of the magnetizing tears. So yeah, I think that just leaves the... Oh, son of a bitch. That just leaves the video game trailers. I'm trying to remember what order I watched those in. I think I, I watched Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League first. And then I watched Gotham Knights, and watching them back to back was very jarring because although the Kill the Justice League one was mostly CG, there was clearly some in-game stuff, and then you look at the in-game graphics of Gotham Knights and you're like, what happened? Why does one game look like it's 10 years old already? I was also under the impression that Kill the Justice League was in the Arkham universe. Did people just assume that because it's made by Rocksteady? Or did they at some point say that it was? Hello, Ty. Ooh. I can't take it. Okay. Rocksteady confirmed it. Then why has Deadshot changed ethnicity? He's in two of the Arkham games and he's white. I get that they're, they're going for the... The movie Deadshot? I can't remember if I've had the item room on this floor. I don't think I have. I've only had the shop, right? But the trailer showed a Batmobile. Or it showed something with the bat signal on it. I'm not sure what it is. Look, they're, they're clearly making him look like the Will Smith Deadshot. Which is fine. Because that's one of the few roles I've liked Will Smith in. He, he made a good Deadshot. But if it's in the Arkham universe, Floyd Lawton has already been seen multiple times and is white. They could have, I guess it would have been too close to production. Like, they obviously have been making this for a while, so they couldn't have made it Idris Elba's character from the new Suicide Squad, but that would have been much better.
And I'm curious why they're bothering saying it's in the same universe as well. And it showed off some stuff. It showed off like Superman, Green Lantern, Flash, Wonder Woman fighting Superman. Basically doing the heavy lifting because what the hell is the Suicide Squad going to do against Superman being controlled by Brainiac? The answer is nothing because they're just people. And it had some jokes. It also had Adam Jensen's voice actor. Oh wait, no, sorry, that was Gotham Knights. In Gotham Knights, Adam Jensen is voicing the Penguin and he's trying to do a different voice for once and... He's trying. Yeah, they made Superman look very slow. I did notice that as well. Half price Halo, we'll take that. Oh wait, we have an angel deal. I'll, I'll take the key, please. Might as well go for Mega Satan. Wait, have we killed Mega Satan as this guy? No. I believe we got to him once, but then we just got murdered. Uh oh. Ooh, that was close. I also expected to be doing... Oh well, we're dead. I was expecting to be doing a bit more damage than that. Oh well, we'll do a challenge because I'm not done talking. I was expecting him to die a lot easier, but we got the more difficult of the two statues. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, Kill the Justice League. Yeah, I, I don't know about that game, honestly. I, I trust Rocksteady to do a good game. And they've clearly been given all the time they want for it. Because it's taken them ages. But I just don't particularly care about the, the Suicide Squad. Or the Justice League, for that matter. But it'll look cool. I'm sure there'll be some cool fight scenes and it's got a sense of humour about it, clearly, because they desperately want to copy Full health. the Suicide Squad. I'm trying to remember the Temesis. buttons for taking pills as individual characters. Experimental pill health. Health down. Hematemesis. And then the Gotham Knights trailer that was just showing off the core of owls. And like I say, the graphics in that by comparison look really rough. I don't know what they've been doing with their time, but it hasn't been making it look really pretty. Because it looks pretty... It looks it looks like a good PS4 game. So it doesn't look like super bad, it just looks dated. And it probably is dated, because I feel like they've been working on Gotham Knights for a while as well. Uh, whichever branch it was that's making the Montreal branch. WB Montreal. And... I just, I think they've been struggling with what they want to do with it. Because it looks like an old game. I still want to play it though, and I'm more interested in playing that because it's got co-op and... The Core of Owls are a fun adversary. And I'm sure Batman will really be dead, he'll be on it, he'll be kidnapped by the Core. You know, all that stuff. Oh yeah, Suicide Squad is co-op as well. But you have to choose between Harley Quinn, Deadshot, Captain Boomerang and... Am I forgetting? King Shark. Eh. Was there a new release date for either of those games? Because I know Gotham Knights got delayed till next year, obviously. And I can't remember if either of them had dates or had revised dates. Just 2022. I would imagine one of them will be March and I would imagine the other one would be late summer. I have nothing to base that on, just based on uh, nothing else, literally nothing else but intuition.
Which they might be regretting now, because didn't Elden Ring get delayed until like the end of February or March or something? Okay, there we are. Hello, Lily. Oh, you can get in there as well. Twenty fifth. Well, either way, end of February, I was right. But yeah, that that would be my guess. I'll still play both, obviously. They're Batman games and one of them is made by a company with a lot of pedigree. Rocksteady don't make bad games. In brackets, they didn't make Arkham Origins. They made the good three. Although they made some questionable decisions with Knight, but still, the story is in it is still good. And the presentation is fantastic. Destroyed. Yeah, let's just ignore it. Try for an angel room again. So I think that concludes everything I watched from the fandom. Am I forgetting any game trailers? Yeah, there's too much car. I dislike the car less with each playthrough, but that's just because I've started to memorize like the order to take upgrades in it for it. To have the easiest time with the overly long kill drones over and over. I don't know if they'd ever admit it, but they've got to know they went too far. Sack of Greed? Greed, greed Gullet? Something like that? Oh, Sack of Sacks. Thank you, Sink and C, for 20 months with a tier 1 sub. Due to the repentance videos, you've been rewatching the other Isaac playlists. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying them. You have to leave the classic YouTuber comment, or sorry, YouTube viewer comment, which is like, who's watching in, insert year here? Although Rydog, I think, was it you who left a comment on an old video the other day there being like, here we go again? Because you just rewatch some old seasons, or seasons, series, ever so often. Shells will be dinging. Are you, are you, that's, why, why are you insulting shells? That's a that's a very mean thing to say to someone. <clears throat> oh wait, are you going by who it's not Damien in the game? It's Tim Drake. He just he's wearing one of Damien's costumes because they didn't do their research. Also, we all know Nightwing has the best butt. But yeah, that's, that's not Damien in the game. Rocksteady almost made a, a Batman game where you play as Damien, but it got cancelled. So did their first attempt at a Suicide Squad game. Although they kept most of that and it's in kill the Justice League now because the concept was still a cooperative Suicide Squad like third person game or something I don't quite remember thanks for the bombs and a tinted rock Mmm, yeah, okay. That might actually work. Oh wait, no, 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 no. We can, ha we can carry two, can't we? Yeah. Also, why didn't I go into the deal with the devil and get a free deal with the devil using that trinket? Shut up, that's why. Grimstone or Mom's knife could have been in there. So I already have dibs on playing as Nightwing in that game because he's the only character I like. I'm indifferent towards Tim Drake and I don't like Jason Todd.
Oh, and Batgirl was like, eh, whatever. I actually forgot she was in the game. Yeah, that's okay. Valnor doesn't even know the name of the first person who was Robin. Or didn't. Maybe he knows now so that I can't taunt him with it. Can I suck things up in here? Whoops. Nope. You don't know your Robins, even though you've used some of them when we played the miniature game against each other. And their names are on the card. Oh yeah, I haven't read it yet, but I, I, via the the Batman comic thing I subscribe to, I've got the follow-up to the Dark Knight Returns. I did. I have heard over the years that there were two more parts after Dark Knight Returns. I haven't read it yet. I know the the general theme is that Lex Luthor is the baddie. I flipped through it, and how is it that... It is Frank Miller doing the art for it, right? How is it that he got worse at art? Because The Dark Knight Returns is pretty ugly, but I flipped through The Dark Knight Rides Again, or whatever it's called, and the art is worse. It is so much worse. Like, I looked at how Wonder Woman was being drawn, and it, it, was, it was bad. I don't know, maybe just stop caring by that point. Oh right, we're getting teleported around. Yeah, I think that concludes everything of interest from the fandom thing. I want to see the new Batman. I want to play the new Batman games. Well, one isn't really a Batman game. But there's stuff to look for, or two. Miller blames it on his divorce. The rest of the world blames it on him having a drinking problem and getting a big head about himself. Ah, I'll just, I'll just throw together any old shit drawings. It doesn't matter. They would love me for my stories. Isn't it in one of the follow-up parts where Batman says a very meme line where he says, I'm the goddamn Batman? Hello, Bull Bear. Yeah, we're doing the challenge because I've already died twice to, or speaking of dying, to two runs. Honestly, I don't think I played badly. Also, shout out to the random Russian account that posted a comment on one of the most recent runs that just said, do you play badly in Russian? And then edited the comment to instead say in Russian, you bad. Good job. There we go. Feel free to say it again, although I won't see it. 